I am on a mission to show you seven different mediums to use in urban sketching. After watercolor, gouache, and watercolor pencils, today it's crayons. Crayons are not the first choice you would think of for urban sketching, but it works. In this video, I will show you three different ways to use water-soluble crayons for urban sketching. And I have a limited color palette because this is a challenge too, to use a limited color range. So you have to be creative because look at the colors I have. I have a bright pink, bright blue, bright yellow. These are not the colors that you will find usually in buildings, except in some part of the world. So let's try to use them at their best. For this first method, you will make a prior sketch with a loose pencil. It's just to give the outline general shapes and you don't have to be very, very precise because crayons are a bit rough. I don't want to sharpen them because I don't want to lose this precious pigment. There is no wood outside. It's just pure pigment aggregated together. So if you sharpen it, you will lose a lot of your crayon. So one of the challenge is to use the nib that is very broad and you don't get something very precise. But that's part of the fun. Once your sketch is done, you can go and fill with colors. And the good thing is if you don't have a good color, you can layer two different colors like I'm doing in the roof with a layer of black, of blue and white. And this will give me a blue gray once I water it down. Unless you have the good color already made, but in this case, you will have to carry a lot of crayons with you. And don't forget that I am nicely sitting in my studio with everything handy on the table. But when you are on location, you don't want to get overwhelmed by the amount of colors that you are carrying. And also you have to think that crayons are not only water soluble, they are also heat soluble. So if the weather is too hot, they may begin to melt together. So the less you get with you, the better it is. So fill your building or whatever it is that you are painting, drawing, call it the way you like and you will get a lot of texture depending on the type of paper that you have. This is a Moleskine sketchbook with uh, watercolor paper inside and it is really, really rough. So this is giving a um, very visible texture even after you add water to it. You may want to practice first with the amount of pigment that you are adding on the paper. Depending on how many layers of crayons you add, you will get a more or less opaque color. So this comes with practice as a lot of things in art. When you have placed the first layer of color, you can add water to it. I'm using a water brush, the one with the water inside, because this is what I always carry with me when I'm on location drawing in the field. But you could use a regular brush with water. It works just the same, of course. I feel I have more control with my water brush and also it's more portable. The only difficulty here is not to lift the pigment that you don't want to lift. <laughs> if you are adding water to the beige, you don't want to touch the black next to it. And also when you change the color you are watering, you need to clean your water brush because otherwise you will have the pigment from the previous color in your brush and you will add it on the second color. So sometimes that's fine, sometimes it's just not what you want. For this one, I want to add more details with an ink brush. Uh, I feel the ink brush is fine. This one is a sepia color, so it's not too dark and it's not contrasting too much with the colors of the building. I think it adds um, details, interest to the drawing and it's, yeah, it gives a nice finished touch to it. And I also have the same in white. And if you want to get the same brushes I'm using, you have a link in description. This white is fine to lighten some color because it's not really opaque, but it's adding a lighter touch to the color. 
Another way to use a water soluble crayons for urban sketching is to make a sketch with a colored pencil first. I think it integrates better with the background, but it depends on your choice and also what you have on hand with you because sometimes you forget to take everything. But that's okay, we have to adapt. Being an artist is just adjusting to whatever you have as a constraint around you. And I'm also filling the colors like we did previously in the other one, but this time I am adding water as I go. I mean, I don't wait to have filled everything with color. I am adding water just to dilute the pigment and get the um, accurate value and color that I will have later. And while it's drying, I can go and work on a different part of the drawing. So this is really convenient because then you can add a second layer of color on top once it's dry. It's You have more control, I would say, but it also takes a bit more time. So it depends what is urban sketching for you. Is it doing it by yourself, with a group, with friends, with family, with other sketchers? really depends on the circumstances. Sometimes you have to go very, very fast because you don't want to bother everyone who's waiting for you. And sometimes you have half an hour in front of a scene. So it really depends. I always try to go fast, take a photo on location, and eventually, if needed, I can complete the drawing um, in the hotel or the apartment at night. So in this method, I'm using the crayons to add the shadows, to give the details, and always adding water after I have placed a color. So I can adjust the shadows and be more precise, really. And that day I had my fountain pen with me, so I decided to add details with a fountain pen. But beware that everything is fully dry or you will clog your pen. And you don't want to do that because they are pretty expensive. I began with a fountain pen, but then I get bored. Yes, it happens to me sometimes. And I switch to a broader nib with this brush pen, which has um, paints gray inside. So it's not purely black. It's dark, but not as hard as black, and you can add uh, broad or fine strokes. It depends on how hard you press on your brush. And as always, you have a link in the description. This one is a Sennelier ink. I love it because it's refillable, and it is really easy to maneuver. It looks like a water brush, by the way. And here is the finished page. And if you are feeling brave, you can go directly with crayons without a sketch and try to fill only shapes. Yes, I know, it's scary and it's more difficult than having a sketch before, but this is something you can try. I have obviously shortened the time of this painting, but it took me less than 10 minutes to do it. And this is convenient because when you're on location, you're standing on the street, holding your sketchbook in your arm and grabbing your crayons in your pouch. And you need to go fast because your arm will ache at a point. But this is a good way to practice simplification. This forces you to decide what is important for you and what you are drawing, what is in front of you. In this case, I wanted to render the colorful buildings and the people in the street and also the contrast between the sky and the buildings. So I had to focus on that and I'm not interested in architectural details. The, the shape of the windows, the details, whatever. I don't want to draw it, so crayons are perfect for that. If I was doing this exact image with watercolor, for example, and a pencil line on top, that would be very different. But here I want to focus on really what is important for me, the colorful buildings. And yes, I'm taking a lot of liberty with the image, but that's my artist privilege, so I'm happy to do it. 
I just want to have a memory of this special moment. And 10 minutes, it's okay. Your friends can go and look at the shops around. So you're not bothering everyone. Can you feel how I have lived that before? <laughs> One important thing if you want to use this method is to use a paper that doesn't have too much tooth, too much texture. Otherwise, you will get something that is pretty weird with white dots visible, but maybe you like it. And if you want, you can also add a spray of water on your painting. It's giving more brightness to the colors and also colors are a bit bleeding together. They fuse together. It's softer. Up to you if you like it. So let me know in comments. Are you using crayons for urban sketching? See you next time for another medium for urban sketching.